Hi, uh, in this session, um, I'm going to show you how to use basic uh, Vue.js in your Laravel 5.3. So to start uh, with, uh, I have a few packages installed. Uh, let me show it to you. Uh, uh, if I go to package.json file, I have Gulp installed, I have Laravel uh, Elixir installed, Laravel Elixir View 2 installed, and all this, all this has been installed. Um, if you haven't installed it, then uh, please install this uh, before proceeding with this uh, video. Um, the next thing I want to show you is um, my gulp command is working. So uh, if I just type gulp over here, then it should show me some output. Now, um, once once you run this npm install, um, gulp file.js is not created by default so you have to create it using touch command so you have to say touch uh, space gulp file.js uh, in that way a blank gulp file will be created in your root directory next um, uh, you have to gulp in it and uh, you have to uh, you have to add this code uh, in your gulp file.js now i have already added this uh, let's see our gulp files uh, this is how, what it looks like it gives a little notification at the top on a Mac PC uh, basically what it does it, it um, uh, concatenates files uh, minimizes uh, CSS files and JS files and uses webpack uh, to pack all the files together so um, this is not a tutorial to uh, show you installation of gulp file.js uh, but I'm going to show you how to add a basic view to your Laravel 5.3. Um, this, uh, uh, so I have my gulp file over here which uh, has constant elixir. I have included my elixir files over here and uh, the, pre the pre processing is done over here, all the basic gulp tasks. Now. Um, uh, Laravel comes uh, default with this file app.js and the view component example component is already installed uh, added to your uh, added to your Laravel package um, this is what uh, example.view looks like it's there in your resources um, uh, assets components example.view component Next, I'm going to fetch some categories and display uh, it on my blade template. Excuse me. So uh, to do that, I have a public function show over here. Uh, this is my rest uh, restful con controller, category controller. So it has a show. You can use any other method to get your categories or any other entities. And so for now, uh, let's uh, use categories entity over here. And I have a route set up over here to make my API call. So it's uh, it will be admin slash API call slash categories and it will redirect. It, it will fetch uh, all my categories from admin is my um, namespace. Uh, uh, if, if you have not followed my uh, previous uh, videos, then I have added a simple namespace over here to create an admin section. So if you if you don't follow this, then please check my earlier videos. And it will redirect me to the show uh, method. So once we have this in place, um, let's uh, go into our plate file and let's add um, the default uh, ID app div. So div with ID app. Now, uh, for those who are new to um, Vue.js, um, we have this view component and view code over here. It says app and we are targeting element app. So that's why we have to create a ID app over here. Uh, next, um, let's call the API and display the content, uh, display our categories uh, using view um, on a blade template. So to do that, um, I'll create a simple message. Uh, sorry, it has to go into data. And this, this is all uh, object notation. So let's create a message key over here. And let's say uh, listing categories. 
and let's have another one uh, saying categories this will contain all our categories let's say it false for now and let's have a uh, few methods over here um, fetch categories and this is going to be a function and let's fetch the categories using the http get uh, method http get let's um, use the admin uh, api call categories route so admin categories so this will uh, get data from here and then we are going to uh, get the response so using a promise and let's end this uh, let's just uh, console out console log uh, uh, response so it's going to be response dot dot um, body dot data this this may be different for you but um, I'm using body dot data that's how I get my data and next I'm going to say function response and open and close the brackets I'm going to have one more method over here for ready when everything is ready so uh, this, this is default so this uh, ready function is default of Vue.js uh, I'm just going to say this once everything is ready fetch me the categories now um, if you want to fetch all the categories on load then uh, you will have to say uh, app you have to refer this to this app and say fetch categories um, the next step is to run the gulp so let's run gulp if everything is uh, done correctly we should uh, see our gulp all my all our gulp file processed you'll get a little notification at the top um, if you are using mac pc next uh, let's uh, since we have consoled out uh, let's see if we have the data in a console it's hard to load it uh, we have our data so view chairs uh, we are getting the data using a uh, cat method so we have all the data let's uh, render it uh, let's render the data on our template so to do that we have to go to index.blade and have all the code goes inside our ID app div so let's use a for loop uh, um, let's use a ULLI to display um, and let's use a for loop for our allies to display all the categories category names so uh, <coughs> to do that um, um, let's say ally and let's use a v4 is equal to category in categories now remember this categories is a, a data uh, data item over here so um, it's available in in a in a plate template so uh, once we have this let's echo out um, our data so it is going to be category dot name 
uh, this is my database name uh, database column name so now this should not work uh, i'm going to show you exactly why uh, let's let's um, reload it uh, it's saying category assumed category this is an error because laravel is um, trying to fetch category dot name and uh, this is a laravel plate notation so to get rid of that um, let's use an uh, add symbol at the beginning uh, that should get rid of it and next thing um, ah we have not assigned uh, categories to uh, we have just consoled out uh, but uh, we have to assign this categories and by this means this uh, this object and categories is this one so in this right now it is false let's assign it to response.body.data let's run gulp again uh, now if, if you don't want to run gulp command again and again then you can just say gulp watch and it will watch all your changes now I, I, i'm running it manually so uh, you can you can uh, make it automatic you can just say gulp watch and it, it will watch um, your changes um, say suppose you if you make any um, if even if you add a space over here uh, it will run it will run it so let's just proceed let's just um, view our data there we go all our view um, view data is um, displayed in a blade template so what we have done is uh, we have created a simple view code over here that displays a categories data that is tied to an api call and it's it's simple uh, what you can uh, what I'm planning to do is um, um, changing my blade template to a view template. So I'm going to have an edit and delete button besides each of this. And um, I'm going to use Vue.js in my future videos um, to display my views uh, instead of blade templating. Um, uh, the other thing I wanted to show you are how to uh, use this code over here um, which is a, a example view uh, into your template so it's simple so you just have to say example this is basically extending the functionality of HTML so if I just say example example I should be able to see uh, the example component on my view there you go so in this way you can uh, structure your HTML pages and create little components and build up a big page um, I'm going to go into details uh, on Vue.js and Laravel 5.3 and fi Laravel 5.4 in my later videos so stay tuned and if you are liking this uh, if you are finding this use uh, videos useful then please like or share my videos and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.